Hey everyone, this is Leisha with Cooking Without Measure. Today I'm making a breakfast bake. And this is just, it's like a quiche. You know, some people say it is a quiche. I don't call it a quiche. I just call it a breakfast bake. Now, you can make it several different ways. Today I'm making it without any type of crust. Now for the crust, I have used hash browns. Where you put hash browns in the bottom of a pan like this. Put the hash browns in the bottom. Sprinkle them whatever seasoning you want. Pour a little butter over them, pop them in the oven, let them get a little brown, then you pour your egg mixture over it. Or you can use biscuits, whatever you choose to use. But today, I'm just going to put in this pretty little dish. I sprayed the dish with some canola oil, and I'm going to throw it in there. It's not going to have any um, crust on it. So what I've done, I've cut up, and they already sauteed. I sauteed some, if you can see these, vegetables. I used red, green, orange pepper, white onion. Sometimes I use red onion, but I didn't use red onion today because I didn't feel like pulling it, truth be told. I used um, turkey ham. I don't eat pork, so I used the turkey ham. You can use whatever meat you choose. I have done this recipe vegetarian where I use all the different vegetables, the peppers, all the different peppers. I didn't put yellow in there. I just figured it was eggs. I don't need yellow. So I put all the different color peppers in it. I put broccoli in it, spinach, carrots, mushrooms. You can put whatever vegetables you want in there when you're making your vegetarian one. Or if you have the meat. With the meat, I have used um, Morning Star, the vegetarian sausage. I have used that. I have used um, smoked sausage, turkey smoked sausage. So whatever meat you choose to use. Oh, I use Jimmy Dean's um, turkey crumbles. Those are really good because they got a little, you know, flavor kick to them. So I use those. So if you choose to use the meat, use whatever meat you choose. You can use chicken, turkey, whatever you want. But like I said, this dish is good either with meat or without. Today, I put some meat in it. So that is already cooked. I sauteed it. Um, and this, you know what? This is so awesome. I love this. This right here. This um liquid butter alternative. I got this I don't even know, somebody gave it to me. I don't even know where it came from. I need to try to find this. You can see, this is all I got left. At first, I was like really hesitant about using it because I was like, ooh, liquid butter. But when I was running low on my butter, I said, let me try that. So I used that to make grilled cheese sandwiches. I cooked my turkey burgers in it. I don't fry, like deep fry in it, but saute and stuff, yeah, that's why it's almost gone because I use it most of the time instead of using up my real butter. So back to making this bake. I did six eggs today. So I scrambled six eggs. Um, I added a little water to the eggs mixture to scramble. This is what my mother used to do when we were younger. She added the egg to the egg water. I guess, it, I don't know if it was to stretch the egg or make the egg fluffier, but I just added it because I didn't have any milk. But I did want to show you, I didn't season the, um, the meat or anything, but with the vegetables, I did add some of my granulated garlic onion powder, and some white pepper. I really don't need any type of seasoning salt in this because the meat already has salt in it, so I didn't want to add anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and add the meat mixture to the eggs. I scrambled the eggs, and like I said, I just added some water. So I went ahead and added that. Give it a quick stir. Just stir it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add some cheese. No, I'm going to add my spinach first. I'm putting spinach in here too. I love spinach. I love my spinach. So I'm going to add some spinach. You know with spinach, you know, you, you think you put a whole bunch in here and you look around, it's only like two pieces. Because when spinach cooks down, it really cooks down. So you add as much spinach as you want. I don't, like I said, I don't tell you. I can't even tell you how many, um, I can't even tell you how many, um, how much to use, because like I said, the show is called Cooking Without Measure. And one day when I have a cameraman, I'll be able to show you all the stuff, how I do it on the stove and everything. So I just mix this up, just mix it up really good. It looks like I got more spinach in here than anything, but I'll show you what it looked like. I'm gonna add some cheese. Now I got two types of cheese here. I got sharp cheddar, my favorite, love sharp cheddar, and I had some, Italian style cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both. Um, I'm gonna do the Italian one first. Just sprinkle some in there. Once again, it's 
much cheese as you want as your little heart desires because I love cheese. I, so I'm putting both of them in there. Whatever cheese you have, you can use Gouda, Asiago, white cheddar, mozzarella, whatever, Kobe Jack, whatever cheese you have. It's not a certain cheese that you have to use, whatever your flavor of cheese is or whatever you have on hand because I'm always going to cook from my inventory. So what I did, this is the way it looks right now. Let's see if you can see that. That's the egg mixture. I got the spinach in here, the eggs in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the dish and then I'm gonna bake it. Now the bacon, um, I would say bake it for about at least 45 minutes because you want your eggs to be cooked. You don't want it to be runny in the middle. So make sure you bake it all the way. All the way. It looks really pretty in this dish. I'm so glad I used this dish. I know it's going to look like it's a lot of spinach, but I'm telling you something. Once the spinach cooks down and the egg mixture starts getting over it, it's going to be less like, wow, just a handful of spinach. So I'm just mixing it around. So this is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. I really don't want to tilt it because the eggs are runny. So I'm going to put it in the oven, like I said, for about, mm, I'm going to do this for about maybe about 45 minutes just to make sure that the eggs are set and they're not runny. And then once it comes out, I'm going to let it cool. But also on the stove, I got a pot of water for my grits. I'm going to eat this with some grits and it's going to be really, really good. So I'll be back when it's done. Hey y'all, I am back. I'm telling you, this quiche looks so pretty. You know you are a true foodie when you start giving adjectives to your food. She's pretty in a pronoun. She is so pretty. I already sliced it because I did let it sit for a minute. I don't know if you could tell the slices, but this is the way it looks. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. But that dish is still really hot. And listen... My grits are ready. I made my cheese grits. I'm not going in no debate about how you eat your grits. I put cheese in mine, and I put both cheeses in mine this time, so it's going to be probably really, really good. And I just put some butter, salt, and pepper. No, I don't even need salt because I put salt in the water, so it's usually seasoned, you know, has enough salt. But in the meantime, while this was cooking, I started prepping my dinner. So I had some oxtails. Let me tell you, I don't eat beef like that. Because I ate a steak one time. This is bonus. I ate a, I put, this is a bonus recipe real quick. I ate a steak one time and I don't eat after six. But when I woke up the next morning, I felt so full. And I said, that's it. I can't eat beef like that. But I had this pack of oxtails. I wasn't throwing it out. So I said, I'm going to make some oxtail stew or stew. Probably more like a stew today. So I got the oxtails cooking already. I seasoned them with my base seasonings. The seasoning salt, the granulated garlic some onion powder i put it in some water that i started boiling with a half a pack of lipton onion soup and a piece of green pepper now they're going to cook for about mm, i said i'm going to cook for a couple of hours because once they start boiling i turn them down and let them cook really slow and then once they get tender enough almost to where it's falling off the bone i'm gonna add my potatoes my carrots I'm going to throw some corn and green beans in there that I had left over from when I made the pot pie. So, hey, that's going to be my dinner. So, while other stuff is cooking, especially if I'm baking, I'll throw something else and do something else, start cooking another meal, start prepping another meal. So, I'm not in the kitchen all day long. See, I'll be through shortly, and then my meals will be ready for the day. All I may do is make some cornbread, maybe some hot water cornbread, or maybe some muffins, whatever, if I decide to do that to eat with the stew. But now I'm getting ready to show you what this quiche looks like when it comes out the pan. I already sliced it. And it's still, this, this dish is super, super, super hot. Even after I let it cool off.
this is what it looks like. Ooh, don't that look good? Now I'm gonna put my side of grits with it. You can pair this with some um, sliced avocados, sliced tomatoes. If you have some cantaloupe, any type of fruit, strawberries, blueberries, and eat that with it. Like I said, you can eat this for dinner. You can eat it for breakfast, however you choose to eat it, but it smells so, so good. So this is your breakfast bake. You can call it a quiche if you want to, however you want to name it that's fine whatever description you want to use that's fine but i just call it a breakfast bake in any way you can eat it any time of the day even though it says breakfast so if you have any questions put them in the comments if you need any further information about this particular recipe or any other recipes that i've put out there on youtube just um go and just put some comments out there i'll be more than happy to answer them let you know what i use or anything like that there's nothing that i do as a secret Nothing. It's not a secret. So if you need to know, I would tell you. So I get ready to put my grits on here and I'm getting ready to sit down and enjoy my meal. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.